Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of shape layers. And if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses on logo animation, link is available in the description. And if you like this video then do please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we are going to name it as Main Animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is also 30 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK, go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles section. Now first thing we will do over here, we will create our reveal animation for our logo. So I'll hit Ctrl N to create another composition and I'll call this comp as reveal and simply hit ok now you can choose whatever logo you want for uh, this video only i'm going to type only logo text but over here you can choose your logo i'll select this text layer i'll press ctrl alt home i'll go to the align tab align it horizontally and then i'll choose align it vertically then i'm going to bring my ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one proper ellipse now select the shape layer press ctrl alt home Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this. Now select this shape layer, hit enter and let's call it as BG. Okay, we will hide this logo layer for now. Now I'm going to create my rectangle selection tool and I'm going to make it a black and I'm going to create one rectangle like this. Press Ctrl Alt Home again, press R for rotation and rotate it somewhere around like this. Press V for selection tool and let's bring this initially over here then press p for position create one keyframe zoom in go to around one second and i'll move this from here to here okay and select this bg press f4 and choose alpha mask so what will happen we will get something like this now select both the layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it zoom in a little bit go to around five frames and let's move them over here like this and over here i'm going to select this bg and I'll change the color of this one to somewhere around like this. Okay, let's select this and let's try to move this somewhere around over here. Now select the shape layer, which is this one, press S, unlink this, and we are going to increase the size of this like this. Now select this both layers again, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, and let's go few frames forward somewhere around over here. And this time I'm going to change the color of this one to somewhere reddish again. Select the shape layer, press S and let's decrease the size like this. Okay. And let's move both of them over here like this. Now again, select both these layers over here. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and we will bring them somewhere around over here. Select the shape layer, press S and let's increase the size of this. And we are going to choose somewhere around like the grayish color or blackish color for them like this now hit u so you can see all the keyframes select all of them and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph first of all right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this uh, graphs by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here so if you see now we will get this kind of revealing stuff and if you see over here uh, there are some uh, errors uh, so let's select this uh, one over here and let's bring this out of this composition also go over here select this layer I, this is already out of the circle then i think this layer, as you guys can see it's not completely outside so let's move this so we will get something like this and now at this point i want that logo should start to reveal so i'll enable my logo layer i'll select this and i'll move this layer over here like this so i'll get this kind of reveal so if you see this now we are getting something like this okay now let's select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's bring this at the top press s for scaling option and let's increase the size and let's move this over here like this go to the character menu let's delete this fill we will choose stroke and we are going to choose white color for the stroke so if you see this now we will get this and something like this 
now as you guys can see we have one shape layer over here simply hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top select this and choose alpha mask so if you see this now we will get something like this if you want then you can select this and you can increase the size of this also like this and let's select uh, both of this and let's move this over here also select this logo and try to move this over here so what will happen we will get that stuff over here let's select both of these layers hit ctrl d again and move them over here so we will get this stuff again and again just a little bit of their amount we need over here for reveal only you can select both the layers and you can change the stroke to 0.5 maybe like this okay so this is only for our reveal animation now we will move towards the shape animation so let's go to the main animation com and we are going to choose one ellipse and we don't need any fill for that and i'm going to choose grayish color somewhere around like this by holding shift i'll create one ellipse let's select both of this ellipse i mean one ellipse press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and increase the stroke width somewhere around 30 pixels like this and select the shape layer go to the add menu choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this zero create one keyframe and end and one keyframe at start zoom in go to around let's say 1.10 frames let's make this 100 and 100 select about the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and i'll move this handle over here so if you see we cannot see anything but if you select the starting keyframes and you can shift it toward the 10 frames as you guys can see we are getting something like that so let's select all the last keyframes and we'll try to move them over here so we'll get this kind of duration also create one keyframe at offset go to the last keyframe and let's make this 180 like this so if you see this now we will get something like this now select this layer and hit ctrl d and hit u again go over here and over here i'm going to make it minus 180 press s for scaling option and scale it like this so if you see now we will get something like this also select this layer unlink the scale and let's make this minus value so we will get something like this also press r and rotate it like this so we'll get different rotations and zoom in a little bit and let's go to around 5 to 10 frames and then we will move this over here like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of weird stuff now select both the layers hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top and over here i'm going to change the stroke width to 20 and color to white like this and we will move them over here so if you see this now oh, i think we need to move them a little bit over here so we can see that white stroke also so let's see yeah we are getting this kind of stuff now right click new and create one null object select both the layer i mean all the layers and make it apparent with this null select this null hit enter and let's call it as stroke controller okay so press s and let's make this style initially something like this and at this point i'll create one keyframe over here i'll hit page down button to go one frame forward and i'll make this 130 so if you see now we will get something like this okay so this is for our stroke animation now uh, let's select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as strokes and hit ok now from this point which means when they increase their size i want another thing should start to reveal so i'll delete the stroke now we don't need that and i'm going to choose grayish color for it and then i'm going to create one ellipse by holding shift now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select the shape layer and move this over here go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this value zero create one keyframe at start and one keyframe at end and go to around 1.20 frames let's make this both value 100 select the starting keyframe and let's move this over here select those keyframes and hit f9 so we will get something like this now select this layer hit ctrl d so, uh, sorry select this last layer press s and increase the scale of it like this 
sorry uh, and go to the fill color and we are going to choose somewhere around lighter grayish select the shape layer hit ctrl d and over here i am going to change this color to reddish like this and select go somewhere around over here select both the layers and move this over here select this red color and let's try to move this over here so we will get this kind of stuff and select all of this layers and try to uh, adjust them like this and let's move them over here okay and at this point i want this reveal animation should start so i'll select this reveal comp over here and i'll bring this over here and i'll move this over here like this and if you want then you can start a little bit earlier like this so if you see now we will get something like this now let's try to add strokes again so we select the paint tool delete this fill we don't need that and we are going to choose black color for the stroke and let's move this from here to here let's increase the stroke and change the stroke width to 5 pixels let's make this fit select the shape layer press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and go to the add menu we are going to choose repeater go to the transform repeater let's decrease this value and increase the all copies and let's make this position 10 increase the copies select this layer press p for position and let's move this over here select this hit enter and let's call it as mask like this okay and let's hide this now uh, if you see properly uh, let's hide this stroke and this reveal so we have the shape animation over here so what i'm going to do i'm going to select all these three shapes and i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as circles hit ok hold alt and open square bracket to trim this over here now i'll select this mask which is this one and i'll bring this over here I'll select this circle I'll press F4 and I'm going to choose alpha mask and now let's reveal this strokes and this reveal layer so if you see now we will get something like this okay and now if you want you can select this stroke you can press S and you can uh, decrease the size of it you can try to move this over here and you can adjust this over here again you can hit ctrl d you can try to adjust it over here let's make it 60 and yeah so if you see now we will get something like this okay and now we need something like line conversion but i'll go to the reveal over here and uh, if you see properly we have this uh, last transition i think uh, it should happen a little bit earlier so i'll move this over here and then logo should reveal a little bit earlier at this point like this so if i see i'll get something like this okay and now let's select this uh, paint tool from here to here i'll create one stroke like this go to the start let's select this and let's enable this icon so we can see only this layer go to the add menu we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this uh, start value zero create one keyframe and one keyframe at start go to around 20 frames let's make this 100 and 100 select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and one handle over here and select this uh, start value and let's move this over here so if you see we will get something like this okay and i think this shing should start from somewhere around over here when that reveal shing starts like this and i'll select this i'll press ctrl alt home uh, somewhere around at this point i'll hit ctrl d and i'll try to adjust it properly their copies in this entire composition and also uh, if you want then you can change the stroke sizes like this and you can change the color according 
to your preference okay and then try to adjust them like this so if you see now first we will get this then we will get this and then you can go to the reveal and when this logo reveals somewhere around at this point you can select this logo press s create one keyframe you can hit page down button and you can increase the size of that logo like this so we will get that logo pop-up types glitch over here and you can select the topmost logo layers which are basically the one with the stroke you can select both of them hit ctrl d again and bring those layers at the top and try to move them over here so we will get that little bit of logo revelation over here like this and now our animation is ready we will add one extra stuff let's create one background and let's bring this at the bottom then right click new and create one null object let's lock this background select all of them and make it apparent with this null go to the start select this null press s and let's make this 90 create one keyframe go to the file and let's make this 105 and create uh, hit n so my logo animation is ready let's make this quarter resolution so we'll get a little bit of you know scaling animation also along with this logo reveal like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of complex logo reveal animation inside of after effects